pathology and laboratory medicine is directly involved in patient care. We're dealing with a lot of disease and cancer and we know that the patients are relying on everything that we do to do it right. In a routine day we could receive up to 500 specimens and then we're going to put out between 3,000 and 5,000 slides every day. When your doctor tells you that they're sending your blood work or specimen to the lab, the lab is really a, a huge organization uh, in the Department of Pathology and Lab Medicine. My name is Gloria. I'm going to get a few samples of blood from you. The face of the laboratory are phlebotomists. They uh, meet you in the lab. They draw your blood and then process those samples and then uh, package them up and you ship them up to the main laboratory. It's a fully uh, automated laboratory where specimens are taken into the lab. Those samples have a label, they're barcoded, and they're placed on the automated track system. And once they go on the automated track system, those tubes of blood are then automatically put into the appropriate instrument where then the appropriate analysis that was ordered is performed. It'll have several more analyses uh, until it finally gets to the end of the road where it then goes off into refrigeration storage. So that's kind of the life of a sample in the automated laboratory. In uh, laboratory medicine, uh, we have uh, approximately 10 different laboratories. We're standing in the immunology laboratory, but also within this section is the HLA lab, always known as the tissue typing laboratory, which supports all of the uh, transplant programs here at Penn. We have a, something called the flow cytometry laboratory. Down the hallway, uh, we have a endocrinology laboratory. We have a large molecular diagnostic lab. We have a toxicology laboratory. We have a uh, cytogenetics laboratory that looks at cytogenetic abnormalities, again, for various cancers and we have a microbiology laboratory. Not everything is done in an automated fashion. When we get certain samples that um, have to be run on instruments that are not on the track, um, or there are very tiny samples, like from babies or from people that uh, we couldn't get a you know, sufficient amount of, of blood, uh, those samples are handled uh, in a manual fashion. We do over six million tests per year in the clinical laboratories, and so uh, that's a huge number of tests and the fact is, is that the vast majority of routine laboratory tests in the core lab take about 30 to 45 minutes to complete. So we have an extremely large team, it's, that it's over 400 employees in the department. Surgical 10131. This specimen is a heart transplant biopsy. Surgical pathology is really about the diagnosis of what's going on within the patient. It's about the examination of the tissue, anything being removed from a surgery, whether it be cancer, normal, diseased, we look at it both grossly with our eyes and then also take pieces of it to look under the microscope to be able to accurately identify what's going on. The samples come up if it's coming from the OR and they are looking for a quick diagnosis. Once we confirm that everything, we will do a frozen examination of the tissue, which means that we take a small piece of tissue, we freeze it in a cryostat, and we cut four micron sections of that tissue and put it onto a slide. Once we've stained it and actually do a diagnosis within 20 minutes of receiving the tissue and that allows the surgeon to really focus their direction of the surgery from that point on to what's going on within the tissue. Often the surgeon will come up to consult directly with the pathologist about what's going on. We have a good group of people here between the clerks, pathologist assistants, and grossing technicians. Uh, it, it takes the right kind of person to work up here. We all support each other, no matter who you are, it affects everybody at some point or another. When tissue is uh, taken and then sent over to our department, uh, it first goes over to our tissue processing center over 3020 Market Street. We actually receive the tissue samples and they have to be processed, meaning they have to have the uh, fluids removed and replaced with paraffin. The tissue sections are cut thin as a hair and then mounted on a slide and stained.
from microscopic diagnosis by a pathologist. And we can take the information from the lab information system, interface it to the slide laser, and all the work that we're going to do for the next five hours will be etched into the glass slides and the slides will be ready after the tissue comes off the tissue processors. We then stain those with a routine stain, an H&E stain, which will allow the pathologist to get a preliminary idea of, of what may be the uh, problem. The slides are then packaged up and returned to the hospital that made the request. Everybody here is well aware of that every piece of, of tissue that we receive is a patient. We get thousands of, 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 of tissues a month for analysis and then they are sent back over to our pathologist here at HUP where it, they're examined and they're examined by a team of pathologists and uh, uh, pathology residents uh, who review the tissue, uh, come up with a preliminary assessment uh, and diagnosis. Even though uh, patients don't see us very often, we're at the end of every sample that's, that's taken while a patient is in the clinic or in the hospital. Um, and so um, every uh, member of our team uh, always has uh, at the forefront patient in mind, because that's what we're here for is to take care of patients.